Test scores for 12 students in a behavioral statistics class are given below. This chart, um, I have gone into my TI-84 calculator. I will be posting a video of how to do this same problem in the graphing calculator, but I just wanted to go over uh, the mechanics of the bottom part of this slide and the top of the next one. Um, give the mean, standard deviation, variance, and range. Uh, what I'm going to do is I've got these grades posted in my TI-84 calculator. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to Stat Calculate. Uh, if you were to add up all 12 scores, you would get 907. Okay, so the grand total of these 12 test scores is 907. So X bar will be 907 divided by the 12 scores that there are. Okay, so I get 75.58. The range is the highest minus the lowest. Which for this data set, the highest grade appears to be 93, while the lowest appears to be 60. Okay, so the gap from highest to lowest is 33. Um, the standard deviation and the variance, what I get for the standard deviation, again, I will post a video of how to do this step-by-step -step on a graphing calculator. What I get for the standard deviation is 9.728. Variance is standard deviation squared. So if we take 9.728 squared, we get uh, 94.634. Okay, let's move to the bottom part. The instructor has discovered a poorly written problem and has thrown it out, which has added three points to everyone's test score. Now recalculate the mean, standard deviation, variance, and range of the test scores. Now above, I just used the calculator for standard deviation and squared that value to get variance. I don't want you guys worrying about using a long formula to calculate these. You can use either the SALT from WebAssign or you can use your graphing calculator. I don't want you going through all the long, tedious uh, doing it by hand process. Okay, now if we take all the values in that chart and add three, then we're going to get the following values. Now I'm going to go in and change my numbers in the calculator and recalculate all these different values again. By adding 3 to all these original test scores, the new sum of all 12 test scores is 943. Dividing that by 12 gives an average of 78.58. The range will still be highest minus lowest. Now 
Now, the um, original high score was 93. That grade has been raised three points, so the high score now is 96. The lowest score above was 60, and so now the lowest score after adjustment is 63. And what's the difference in those? That's right, still 33. Range does not get affected by adding or subtracting a constant from the original data set. The mean is influenced by adding or subtracting a constant from, from or to the original data set. Um, I'm still using my graphing calculator, uh, the standard deviation that I've got is 9.728. And if we square that value, we will get variance. which is also the same as above, 94.634. No changes to standard deviation or vari variance. Okay, so adding a constant or subtracting a constant from the original data set only changes the average and the average will change by whatever constant is added or subtracted to the original data set. On this slide, we have a reminder of the 12 original scores in a behavioral statistics class. Now suppose the instructor wants to make this test out of 200 points <clears throat> and consequently multiplies all scores by two. The original scores are out of 100, so every one of them is gonna be doubled and we will get the following values. After doubling all those original test scores, these are now new scores out of 200. Let's recalculate the mean. The sum of all 12 of these new adjusted scores is 1,814. So we have 1814 divided by 12. And I get 151.17. Okay. Standard deviation. Well, actually, let's just do range first. That's the order we've been doing it in. Okay, so we've got the high score 186 minus the low score of 120, which is 66. The standard deviation that I have from my calculator is 19.455. And so variance will be the square of that. Three seventy eight point four nine seven. Okay. I just sketched in the descriptive stats from the original scores as a reminder. They're written to the right of the chart of numbers, test scores. Okay, so the original mean was 75.58. If you were to double that, you get the new mean, 151.17. The original range was 33. The new range is 66. That's been doubled. 
the original standard deviation, 9.728, <coughs> excuse me. If you double that, you get the new standard deviation, 19.455. <clears throat> now, variance, remember that standard deviation squared. Well, since we've doubled scores, that's multiplying by a factor of 2. What's 2 squared? 4. Variance will change by a factor of 4. 